Good evening. Teacher John here with, a, with an answer to another student's question. This one about Microsoft Word. How do I prevent orphaned table headers at the bottom of a page? So in order to answer this question, I've created a document. Let's go ahead and click here on the share screen and go to application window and let's choose my Microsoft Word application and choose share. So what I've done is I've created a document that replicates the student's problem. I have a page of data here that has something on almost every line. Down near the bottom of the page I have the start of a table and what I notice is the first row of data right is down here on the second page and all there's a header up here the header repeats here and you're thinking well is there some issue there with the header so let's take a look at the first row of the table so I'm going to select the first row and then right click and hit properties and it says okay clearly this first row is the header row and it's going to repeat at the top of the first page but what's curious is it says do not allow right because there's no check so do not allow this row to break across but it is breaking across that's really strange so a lot of students try to solve this problem by grabbing the header row and the first row of data and then they look at the properties again so right click and hit table properties you can see that it still says do not allow the row in this case rows to break across pages and we can tell that one of the two is a header row but not both because we got a semi gray box here so the the thing is like what gives well, the truth is I can't explain to you why this behavior happens, but I can show you a super easy way to solve this problem, right? So let's take a look here. We're going to go ahead and grab these first two rows like we did before, but this time instead of going to the table properties, we're going to go up here to paragraph properties. And in paragraph properties, I'm going to choose line spacing, and I'm going to go up here to line and page break, and let's look at this second option right here, keep with next. Oh. Right? It's important to think about the fact that Microsoft Word sees table lines of a table as paragraphs. And so what we're wanting to do is to keep paragraphs together. So if I choose that option and hit OK, bam, look at this. Now my table and the first header row stay together. And if I look at the bottom, right, this page goes this goes on to multiple ones. I don't lose or I don't interfere with the pagination on subsequent pages right so the question is then that looks all well and good but what happens if the what's on my first page changes and the table or the page repaginate watch here if I get rid of one row nothing happens but if I get rid of two rows of data I get exactly what the student wants and that is the header row and the first two rows of data right so let's do the opposite let's add a row back in right nice right even though I've only added one row back in both of those move down to the next page as we would expect they keep together and in either case what we notice is right the pagination just continues on like normal throughout the rest of the document I hope you've enjoyed this solution I look forward to seeing you again soon stop sharing wise and stop recording.